Okay, this is the highly anticipated explanation of the Sindham Packen uh, illusion. Um, it's one of those that I get a lot of requests for, and because sometimes I goof around on Learn Cool Magic, uh, people don't really know whether that's a real effect or just, you know, what. So, um, obviously, Sindham Packen is, is, a, is a real effect. And, um, and I have had requests for it, and I've been hesitant to, to share it, but I think that um, I think our relationship has evolved. Uh, to the point where I feel okay about doing that. So, so let's check this out real quick. Of course, you'll need a brand new blue deck and one red card. You have to have a, a new unopened deck for this trick to even work in the first place. Now, because I only want to share the details uh, of the effect with you so that you can actually do it, I'm going to go ahead and un, you know, I'm going to unwrap this, but I'll do it. I'll edit that part out so you don't have to sit through me opening it. Okay, the deck is open, and uh, so so you first you come out and you you know this is obviously in your pocket. Um, we'll just put it to the side for now. Uh, you'll say, okay, so did you want to see a magic trick? And people are like, you know what, magic trick? I don't, you know, no, get out of here. And uh, so then you have to go to the next people, and then when they, when when you fig finally figure out a way to get them to watch the trick, um, you take the cards out of the pack like this, and you display that they're in, you know brand new deck order obviously and you explain to them what brand new deck order means and how in, in you know in your magician circles you have to know what that means and it means it's like a pack and a new deck and for a lot of things to work you know uh, so anyway that's that's what that is um, so now you'll want to first of all you'll show hey you know you'll say something like what a, what is with the Texas Hold'em rules you know in all the card cases and they'll say whatever they say and you put those aside um, maybe you know, seven inches off the mat. Uh, I know you can't see it off on, off the camera right now, but it's about seven inches off the mat. Now, you'll say, uh, the first thing we want to do before we do any sort of um, illusion for you is to shuffle the cards. So, you'll do that. Now, obviously, that's a fake shuffle. The cards retain their order when I do this. Um, so, you just do your favorite shuffle that does the same thing. All right. Now, uh, you'll, you'll put the, the, the deck down and you'll say, all right, so I want you to think of any card, any card in the deck at all. And let's say they think of the nine of diamonds. Okay, then you say, all right, um, let me just take a look. And you begin to spread through the cards. And, uh, and then you ask them again, Do you, are you thinking of your card? Now, at this point, you're going to place the, the, uh, the, the deck down beside the pack, which you should have right about there, and pick up the pack. Take, secretly take the red card from your pocket, put it in the pack, close the pack, put the pack down. Okay? Now, they're doing whatever it is they're doing, um, and then you'll bring them back to the, to the action by saying, now I want to show you something. And you do one of these ribbon spreads, okay? But you always want to keep the top card off to the side. And you're going to say, you know, isn't it interesting how there's always one card that seems to jump out of the pack? And of course, they'll want to talk about that for a while because uh, that happens a lot too. Um, Okay, so now you'll take the, 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 the deck and mechanic grip as if you're going to deal, but instead you'll take it in the middle grip in the right hand and place it down on 